Well, you just doxed him. We're live. Thank you for joining us on Now That's Debatable. This is Season 2, Episode 7. Uh, this is your host, Fantastic Facade. I'm joined with uh, our special guest, Morpheus. We also have, uh, of course, my co-host, Triple A the Humanist. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get us over to our Relic Media page. So, Triple uh, A, you can talk about that for a second. That should go live now. I'm going to go ahead and get the meeting set up for our pictures in the background. And you can take it away. Awesome, easy enough. Uh, today, we're going to do something a little bit different. Going to be talking, well, not different, different, but a little different. Uh, because I don't know if you saw the title for what I put, but it's different than the title that Triple A put up for Facebook. Uh, and I just put the generic title, Do We Exist? Uh, because uh, I today we're going to be talking a little bit about ontology and aesthetic philosophy uh so if you're not familiar with it uh it's going to be something that we haven't discussed on the show before but it's something that's uh always interesting and uh a fun fun topic to take on so uh who wants to get started Um, was you know the only way that we can tell that we exist is that we think and so his famous little saying that you hear in college all the time is I think therefore I am which I'm sure both both of you are really familiar with mm -hmm. um, yeah. 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 yeah and that's like that's kind of like baseline um, what you might call well Descartes was I think he was if I remember correctly a continental philosopher but I think that he would fall into the realm of phenomenology 
mm-hmm. in terms of how we understand phenomenon in the world and how we perceive ourselves and the ego. Um, and so, you know, I think when, after going through college and stuff, like my, my, what I ended up hey, kind of, yeah. Hold on one second. Sorry. Hey, we're all muted. I, th- I think I fixed it. That's why I put it in the, the, the thing. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. I, I was just waiting on a response. Uh-oh. Okay. Did we Go miss ahead. all that last part? I hope not. Okay. I think we missed, like, the beginning of the whole show. Okay. I'm trying to find well, out. Well, so I'll just do a recap <laughs> real quick. We were talking about existentialism, yep. well, specifically. Hold, hold, on, hold on, just a second. More for you. So the only reason I say, like, hold on it's just because okay. if, if they can't hear us, uh, all right, cool. They can't hear you. You, you can go ahead and recap now. <laughs> okay. So I started with a common lesson that you would you'd find in, in your like you know course level one for philosophy, which had to do with Descartes' meditations, specifically his critique of the senses and the self, in which he concluded that we can be tricked by our senses and that reality is not as is not on as foundational grounds as we might like to think. And he concluded that the only way he could surmise that he existed is through his thoughts. Um, Now, that's a very high-level general understanding of of Descartes. um, And I'll probably probably won't go into any more detail on that specific subject. But I would say... I like the comment... Yeah. Well, just on that. like So, like, what are your thoughts, like, on the Kigito? Like, did, did you agree with that? Um, my my main critique with Descartes was that he didn't deal with time, okay. which was when you go into later philosophers like Deleuze and uh, Bergson and Heidegger, you start realizing there's a couple of flaws with uh, with Descartes, specifically his substance monism, um, which is the and that's why i didn't want to get too technical because i haven't studied this in a long time but Mm -hmm. his substance substance monism and his circular reasoning when it came to the self and the thought in reflection of the divine i thought descartes was a substance dualist like because no spinoza was a substance dualist spinoza was the first one to break substance apart into two substances basically substance dualism um, okay. and I could be wrong on this. You can fact check me. I don't know because it's been a while since I studied this. But yeah, I I think Descartes his his understanding was much like the Platonic understanding. I think he was more aligned with the Platonic understanding of the of the divine and the forms. Um, and he also ra- he he justified and rationalized his philosophical. Uh, assertion through the divine um and so anyway i, I don't remember exactly his argument in that, in that specific category gotcha but i know that spinoza was the first one to actually break into substance dualism um but you know what you know what hold up no right. you're right you're right you're right he was substance yeah. Dualist? yeah yeah, yeah. Right. so so descartes was a substance dualist um spinoza was substance monism because he believed that that uh the what he called the causa sui or the cause of itself mm-hmm. which is god in, in nature was all one substance i'm sorry you're correct actually um so i'm 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 wrong on that one um but anyway i guess my point was at a, at a high level general perspective when we're talking about existentialism and existentialism and ontology um the main contribution i would say besides all the technical facts or the technical pieces that um Descartes brought up was that we we can't really trust our senses to a certain degree and that's problematic in a lot of ways um i think bergson and heidegger and the other people that dealt with existential loves and sartre another person um the the other people who dealt with this subject dealt with it a little better i think because they brought in the element or the variable of time so descartes main criticism um lacked time so my my criticism in college at least when i wrote papers on it was yes he was right that your dreams can deceive you and your senses can deceive you but mm-hmm. if you if you account for the variable of time you'll always be you always find yourself on the right path because you can't you can't annotate in time the deception that that happens um, by your senses eventually 
um, the only consistent from a um, temporal perspective, the only consistent reality is the one that we experience on a day-to-day -day basis. And from that, from that perspective, my opinion is, um, yes, we can be deceived and, and maybe there's some higher level of deception that exists. I'm not com completely convinced on that, but you my, still have to exist. Yeah. My conclusion was like, okay, regardless if this is all the matrix, right? Which yeah. is kind of like what, what, um, Descartes was kind of getting at was there would have to be someone to deceive. Yeah, and on top of that, it's like, well, regardless, this is still the only existence we have to deal with that we can mm -hmm. cause an effect and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. um, even if it's, even if you could argue that that cause and effect is not real, um, it's the only real we have. So that was you, kind of my conclusion on that one. But Gotcha. So I, I remember when I was sitting in class and I first heard like um, the Kugito, I, I thought it was a pretty airtight argument, maybe because it, Seem to be, you know, I mean, makes sense, you know, and it, it'd be pretty hard to to deceive someone into existing because in order to deceive them, they have to first exist, right? So to to be wrong, you have to be. So I mean, it it right. seems to follow. <clears throat> the problem that I had with it is that the entire argument was based on reason itself, which is something that you'd have to assume. Yeah, that's a, good, so, that's a good point. And so, yeah, so <clears throat> I mean, so that's that's why I, I mean, I wouldn't say I rejected the argument. If you assume reason itself, then sure, but like even then, you you have to make an assumptions. Like if if you want to, if you want to take um, skepticism all the way back, you could even start doubting reason itself, and right, then right. maybe in some way it could be possible that you could um, be deceived and yet not exist. Which I think that's where the post-structuralist, post-modernist folks are in, in current times, which is, um, you know, questioning and deconstructing the very concept of reality and, and also as a sentiment, synonym to that truth, you know, cause, because it, it, to a certain degree, when we say reality, we kind of mean truth. I mean... Yeah, no, I'm, that, I'm, that's yeah. that's that's what I mean. Like, like when yeah. I when I talk about truth, I'm saying like that which comports to reality. Right, right. And when we say reality, we tend to mean, based off of definitional terms, at least, objective and empirical, which goes back to the rationalists versus the empiricists. You could even say the Greeks versus the, you know, folks like Hume, for instance, mm -hmm. um, which is. Okay, the, uh, early on in the history of philosophy, the Greeks um, thought that there was all the ideas that could ever exist were accessible through the Platonic whatever forms or something. Mm -hmm. um, I could be wrong on the terminology, but either way, the point they were trying to make is that you didn't need the empirical. Well, it was later on down the road. And, you know, based off of their technology, you can't blame them for that perspective. Um, but later on down the road, philosophers were like, actually, it's the empirical impressions on the physical and biological self that form the rational ideas and concepts and so, things like that. And then when you go fast forward, then it was a combination. It was a hybrid. It was, okay, well, actually, it's the physical impressions of the world on the self. And then the ability to mix and match those in the rational world of ideas and that's where we get the most breath to to concepts and ideas and, and how we operate in the world when it comes to existence you know if you wanted to link descartes to this you know descartes was questioning his, his existence in terms of his senses and at the same time relying on those senses for his own existence um, and so like, that's another kind of point of contention there is that like, okay, well, I'm going to question my senses, but these are the only things that help me get to this point and survive and live. Um, and so regardless if the world is, is like, I'll just give you another example. Like you could create a, a, you could create a, 
what's it called a simulated universe where i require you to go pick up three sticks a day and if you don't do that you die right mm -hmm. um so similarly you could require that i drink so much water in a day or whatever and i'll die it still could be a simulated universe it doesn't cancel out the possibility of that but again like outside of the simulation if you want to say and i've i don't know if you've heard neil degrasse tyson's counter argument to the simulation neil degrasse tyson was actually on board with the simulation theory i watched I, him in I, new yeah. york city so yeah you know i i didn't i, mean, I didn't watch him in person but um, I, I've, I've heard his response to it because like he he seems to, to, to say that be the simulation seems to be the more the most probable yes right? but he, there, he, there could be multiple simulations but only one reality but so he which one are you more likely to be he recounted his statement. So I watched Brian Greene and Richard Dawkins at the um, at the 92nd Y in New York City when I lived there. I went to their discussion. There was just a discussion between the two. Mm -hmm. And they talked about the simulation theory. Both of them agree that that's probably the most accurate account of the universe. You think we're simulation? Existence. Yes. Both of them agree that. And at the time, so did Neil deGrasse Tyson. But recently, I would say in the past five years, Neil deGrasse Tyson um, actually, um, I guess, recounted that or or argued against it. Um, because the argument follows very logically that we're in a simulation. But then the point that Neil deGrasse Tyson kind of recently brought up was like, well, we don't have a real simulation. That's where you get into tricky territory but he said we don't have a s real simulation currently in our own universe so either we're the first civilization I mean, he said we don't have a real simulation in our own universe correct well like, I, I, I know that's a that's great that's a tricky thing that he yeah. said but in the way yeah that, because i mean yeah. like how does he know well what like, so most so the original argument is okay if you walk through the steps it's like okay step one there's a, an original universe step mm -hmm. two we become technologically advanced enough to simulate reality step three we simulate reality therefore there's multiple simulated realities therefore it's statistically yeah it's more, more probable that you'd be in a simulated one not the perfect real one. correct but he was saying mm -hmm. his is his recent kind of argument mm -hmm. well we help we don't really have that yet so we can't say i'm saying how how would he know that like well he's like what if what if our civilization no, no no so he's based you could say that he's basing that he's basing that assumption on the technology that's available in the simulation that he's in like what i'm saying like what if the reality that we're in right now is a simulation and it's just happened to be less advanced than the actual one yeah that's a good point actually i'm surprised no one's like challenged him on that I'd also like to say that there's actually a fundamental flaw statistically in the, the simulation argument in general, uh, and that is that people tend to overlook in the fact that you 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 actually make a misstep in logic and in statistics when you say that it's statistically more probable that you live in a simulated reality because that's not actually true. That's only true if you assume that a simulated reality could exist. Which is equally true that it could not exist. Or so in order I mean, to I, to have a, a a a universe that gets to the point mm -hmm. of simulating technology, you must also have a universe that doesn't do that. So you're you're still statistically what, even. What may what uh why couldn't a simulated reality exist? I, I'm not saying it couldn't. I'm okay. saying it's statistically as likely that a universe exists that never develops the technology to simulate simulate reality. So I think the original argument that I remember hearing with Dawkins and, and Brian Greene. By the way, you guys know who Dawkins is, right? Yep. I and I know who Brian Greene is. So. Okay. All right. Cool. So just because you may not know the credentials, but um, I think the original argument was like. Look, look at the way technology is progressing. Okay, simulations have started. They started back in probably the seventies. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, really, I, mean, I was about to say, I, I, just just like as soon as computers started coming around, the right? Simulations were coming and, around, and they've grown increasingly more and more complex to mm -hmm. the point where, you know, 
at some point, if you if you believe in the singularity in artificial intelligence, um, it may well, be well, the okay, case can you, if can we you follow. Kind of like pause there because those two things didn't really, uh, at least in my head, didn't really flow into. I, I think either where you were going, or I, I don't see the leap in where you're coming from in yeah, a need fine. to believe in the singularity <laughs> and or. Well, the singularity from my AI. fox from my foxhole AI is a precursor to the singularity, but um, in, AI in the way is a I precursor to it. the singularity and the singularity in which the universe as we understand it. No, the singularity in the sense that it's used in science fiction, which is the point at which um, the event computers or technology place. becomes conscience conscious. Okay, so we're not referring to it in the scientific sense. We're referring to it in the science fiction sense. Well, if you read people like Ray Kurzweil and in other like, it's like uh, like there, for instance, there's a whole company out of China, for instance, and there there is a there is a field of information technology, artificial intelligence, that is specifically focused on what they call the singularity, which is the point at which technology becomes as intelligent and con con conscious um, similar to human beings. That's what I mean by that. Okay, so when, when in this specific context, when you're saying singularity, you're not talking about the point like of a black hole. Not the big bang. No, 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 that's not what he's no, talking no. about. No, no, you're specific, you're not, specific that's, that's a mathematical about. singularity. No. Yeah, that's, yeah. That, th those are very like, different terminology. There's a, yeah, there's a, uh, okay. but but there's a i will say there's a lot of respected scientists and, and data titians and ai people and it people that i've listened to over the years and they speak about the singularity commonly and ai is a, is, a, is a precursor to the singularity meaning I, that what's up i was, was going to ask have you played like conway's game of life no i have not okay so it's a it's a pretty cool game it's on you can play online it's, if you just go to um playgameoflife.com it's a it's a it's a um, program and it has really simple rules and you can just i'm like it, it's just it, it chooses like a bit when it, a bit's going to be up or down all right and then as it keeps going it gets more complex right and then it, it can just spontaneously generate things like a tree like a uh, a car like whatever and then after a certain after a certain amount of time, just by sheer like statistical probability, it can actually generate another um, a machine maker, like another machine maker that has his own game of life with his own set of rules. And that can generate another one and another one and another one and another one. And so um, I mean, the, the point that I was trying to make is it's, it's kind of, it's very similar to what you were saying about um, Neil deGrasse Tyson's a, a original argument. When when he was saying that, like, w which game are you more likely to be in? Was the um, right, right. yeah the the original one or or the, what? I think the original argument is pretty logically sound. I think the yeah, counter argument it, is not as compelling to, to me at least. Yes, it's because the same here. Okay, because me, it, what's up? I'm sorry. I, I was saying this. It's, 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 it's an unwarranted assumption that there's that there's not a simulated. Yeah, uh, I think that you're the first person universe. to bring up. You're the first person, at least I thought about it, but I didn't really question it. But you're the first person to bring up, like, of course, that'd be a simulation that doesn't have a simulation that you believe is enough to warrant, right? I mean, it's like, but to to your point, there's other games, like, um, what's that game? Oh, man, I wish I could remember this technology. I have a bad memory, but there's this game where you can basically explore the universe indefinitely. Mm -hmm. And the way the algorithm works is it it has all these different variables and they interact and they spontaneously create new worlds. Because uh, I'm really big into no gaming and, and yeah, what, what were we saying? No Man's Sky. I yep, yeah, that's the one. That's oh, the one. you play? Oh, uh, you play No Man's Sky? I I, I don't oh, play man. it, but I I researched okay. the technology oh, part because I was I really love interested that game. in it. I love that game. But it's yes. called like procedurally yeah. generated. I don't remember. But, yeah, procedurally yeah. generated planets. You believe it or not, yeah. if you're listening, that game has 18 quintillion planets. Exactly. That's what, so, 18 so, quintillion planets. That that's, is, and that's uh, technically the second largest game to exist. 
Yeah, and, and that's behind that's Minecraft. Kind of, that no, no, just no, no. Makes... game's bigger than Minecraft. No, it's not. No, no, dude, I'll check it out. The Minecraft, the, the entire uh, universe of Minecraft crap is about the size of planet Uranus. No, we're not. We're not talking about like scale. We're talking about size. Like there, are, there are, technically there are more possibilities in Minecraft than there will ever be in No Man's Sky. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure what there. you mean by that. Oh, okay, okay so I'm... the the total number of mute like permutations and outcomes for Minecraft and the ways that you can configure things within it. Oh, exi- okay. Oh, well, exi- okay, exist sure. at a grander scale than that of No Man's Sky. Okay, so I mean, that sound like so Minecraft would be more complex than than No Man's Sky. Yeah, it was just a fun random. Fact, okay, that's all. Okay, but I, either way, though, like the the logic that seems to support the logic, right? That Brian yeah. Green and Richard Dawkins talking was like, look, look at our trajectory of simulations, right? It can. It's only a matter of time before. Have you guys seen like the surrogates with um? Who's the guy who played all the freaking action movies with a bald head? Um, Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. You've seen the circuits. It's only a matter of time before it plugged into the simulation. I mean, it's it's literally, you, if you look at Facebook, they've so, so invested again, billions of you're dollars. You're taking leaps of logic there that actually don't exist. So, like, to, to me, the problem still goes back to, like, you're equally as likely to be in a universe that never develops the technology to, like, simulate reality. It's possible, but if so you like look at you the, ha- like if your possibility is either you're in a universe that has simulated reality or will simulate reality, or you're in a universe that does not simulate reality and has never simulated reality and never will, you still have so, equal possibilities. So, okay, so, like, so okay, but so but there's what, more evidence you, towards I, simulation in this for, universe. Hey, for size, so what do you mean by like, being? What do you mean by in a universe where it's impossible to simulate? Um, um, why did I just forget the word? Uh, uh, simulate. Yeah, it's a simulate reality. What do you mean by impossible to simulate reality? Like, are you talking about no, what, like, I, it what I'm saying? Like law of no, contradiction? No, no. Or are you saying they couldn't develop the technology? No, what I'm saying is that the statistical probability of you existing in a universe that that will happen is the same as you existing in a universe in which that will not happen. So the, here's the counter argument. So if if I was in here, I've got counter as well. But go ahead. You do. You can do yours first. Well, okay. So, like, what, what, I, like, what I was gonna say, because I, I would think you're gonna try to try to say that it, it uh, points as like, like it breaks some sort of law of logic. Nope. Like, I'm uh, just saying statistically, okay, you have the so, exact same odds. Well, like, I don't see how it, it would. I don't see a universe. How would it even be possible for it would be. For it to be impossible to um, create a simulation, like we, we, if you like, we're, we're not one, even, like we're not even saying it's, it's necessarily based on like uh, like technology. Like it could be just like a uh, some sort of a mind that spontaneously generated through like sure, some quantum but fluctuation. That, that like it, it's, assumes it's not that even based a, on technology. But that assumes that there's a mind based off of quantum fluctuation that exists in a universe that can yes, simulate your reality, well, well, which is would, all go, also would equally not, possible. That it's equally possible. as possible as just someone developing the technology to do so, it in the universe that we exist in. So, it's also as equally probable that you exist in a world that that mind, which is using quantum fluctuation, does not exist. Yeah, so, but either way, so you, you have live, a, no, exactly no, 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 no. the same in either way, It's an in infinite either, sided in either dice. Way, in, in either way, so in this universe, is there a field there? Like a, a quantum field? I, I mean, field? again, it, it, it equally... Like so, unless you say, but it's reality, not. It's not like, equally. It, it has. It, to it be. is. It's an infinite so, sided dice. It, it, Bri- it's Brian like, Green no, no. would. Brian Green would both. If Brian Green was yeah. on this call, call, I know what he would say. So, so you me, can do. I'll, I'm sorry. I, I was gonna go say, like, first. Like, like, go like for me, like for, like for me, like I just don't. I can't see. I can't. Cannot fathom a universe where it would be impossible for a simulation to exist. Uh-oh, like, okay. I, I, what if I told even, you? I mean, what if I told you that there's an inconceivably intelligent deity that made you specifically in the universe that you exist in currently, and he set your mind to believe that? And there are, and he's so powerful, he controls all of universes, mm-hmm. and therefore, 
He knows that there is no such thing as simulated reality in any other universe, but he, for whatever reason, decided to convince you that that is reality. That, that's no, no, no. That's the, the that's that's the difference. So you're saying so this being knows that no simulation exists. We we're talking about whether it's possible for a simulation to exist. So like well, if, if we saying, accept what, the possibility. Just, He's but, saying just it's not possible. Statistic, just by statistical probability, we would be in that universe. We would be in the simulation. Why? All, all, I, I all, you, what, would need is, all you would need I mean, is possibility. I okay, know pause, what Brian pause, Green would say. Pause. To both of you. Well, go ahead. Let's say. Go ahead. Say what Brian Green would say. All right. Go ahead. Brian, Brian Green would one hundred percent say, mm -hmm. "Let's look at the evidence and the data we have. That's all we have. We can't speculate on anything else. We are creating simulations." They're getting more and more advanced. Therefore, if you project that into the future, a future civilization will be able to simulate existence. And therefore, I mean, it's I, 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 more I probable. That that's a slippery slope fallacy in general. I don't the think Brian Green, is like, who's one of the top physicists of, I, I'm, among I'm aware academics. I'm who Brian Green is. I'm not, I'm not trying to like... But, point, point but I'm just saying, like, you have to at least respect the man's credentials. The I, dude is one of the top. I, I'm not trying to in the disrespect world. his credentials. Think, I'm pointing out something impossible. that's like a clear flaw. But you're trying flaw. to say you're, you're trying Wait to say Brian Green is statistically. I, I'm pointing out flawed. a clear flaw. Yes, I'm pointing out a very obvious flaw. No sure. way. Yes. Not for that dude. Oh, hold okay, on. No, no, like, let, let's, let's use pure logic. Brian Green, Brian Green ain't God. You can't. You, no, no, he's no, not no, God. He's not God. But let's use flaw. Yeah. Let's use pure logic. You ready? Brian Green is not God. Let's do this really easy. He also is a mathematician. Let's make it really easy for you. Yeah. Let's 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 hit a flaw first. Let's hit a flaw. Let's make it really easy for you. Okay. I have a coin. Okay. On one side there's a face. On the other side there's a butt. Okay. I hold the coin up to the camera. Which side is it? You mean like can we see? Like I mean, is yeah. Is, if I camera... if I hold it up, is it going to be a face or a butt? You you're holding a coin, and is it a it, face it, or a butt? Yeah. Which one is it? I mean, I don't know. It depends. What's the possibility? Depends the, that I mean, it's it depends on the side. What's the possibility so like, that it's a face? So so the, the assuming that it's a fair coin. Yeah, it's, it's a then, fair coin. Okay, it's so it's it's roughly fifty fifty. Okay, right. So what you're saying is that in reality, or in the universe, there is a a fifty percent chance that reality is simulated. No, and there is a fifty percent no. chance that no, it is no, not. no, no, nope, that's not what we're saying. So there's only so, evidence. So if you grant, one. so if you grant the possibility, no, no, that no, no, no. of the simulation, let me, let me address something that Morpheus my, said real quick. Uh, just my can, 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 can I address what Morpheus said real quick? Go ahead. Because what you just said was a, a fundamental flaw. So what you just said was like, no, the evidence only points to this. No, what the evidence points to is that the reality that you perceive indicates that we are currently simulating things. That is it. You don't get to say that in the future, because humans exist now and statistically they've gotten taller over time, that in the future, humans are going to be Ten thousand feet tall. No, I mean, I, I think it's. I mean, it's it's a basic inference. I mean, just just think, just think about like the, the metaverse. What so, Mark so Zuckerberg what you're doing is, is you're, 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 that's no, a good no, point. See, the, that's the, a good the, point. The problem, no, yeah. the problem you're doing by saying that it's just a basic inference is just like the mis like the misquote when we talked about technology doubling every year. That statistically I, I would, hasn't happened. Semiconductors can only get feasible. I didn't so say small. doubling. I no, I'm not saying you, you not, did. Yeah, I'm just giving you the example in which people I, often misquote. I, so, for I instance, would say, the, the amount of semiconductor space can only get like finitely small, like uh, to the point of like a certain s smallness you, before you, we no longer have yeah. an increase. You, you, in, you, he's about transistors. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Trans yes. I, I would, like, yeah. He's about being yeah, more, more like, slow. Officially, yeah, I can't would, double forever. That's yeah. I would say two, but I would say two things. I'm not saying you're wrong because I don't know. Who knows, right? But I would say, like, um, technologies, technologies, um, potential is different than biological potential. And biologists know this. I mean, I, I've watched enough, like, just basic, like, Discovery Channel, um, documentaries, not to say that I'm right about it, but there's a there's an issue with um, proportions when it comes to humans and, and mammals that limits us 
Um, I, I, and so I agree, there's not. I agree 100. percent I'm just giving you the point yeah. of, that I was making. I'm not saying that in the future humans are going to be 10,000 feet tall. No, yeah, yeah. I mean that's that. that's not but possible. But I'm just making but... the point that statistically, if you look at history and you look at where technology, I, science, math, etc., and the you, fact if that you look, we have increased that, doesn't yeah, lead you if, to the point of something like if, humans look, being 10,000 feet tall. Look, let me put this so, in front of you. How, if you look at the test? top, if you look okay. at the top scientists data statisticians it people they're going to tell you okay and and i've i've looked at this myself with Neuralink, for instance at some point we're going to be able to simulate the synapses and the impressions that reality gives us and so that's going to happen that, that's an assumption and then it's not an that assumption. doesn't simulate reality it's not an assumption if, if you must that is then a, plug no no, that no is a, reality. a it is assumption because i could it's say not. like Okay, but how it's, is it's it a, not an assumption? Well, you don't have it, a guarantee. No, 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 no. Let me explain why yeah, it's not a assumption. This is a bold assertion. It, it, no, no, no. It, it is an no. assumption, but it's a where it's a very warranted assumption. Like I mean, just based on what we see right now, literally, it's like very warranted. It's. I'm telling you right now, the science itself. Supports the fact that here's the thing. I'll tell you why. If you could see the future, my bad. Have you seen the three-hour demonstration by Neuralink? And I'm not trying to like, I'm not trying to push you in a corner. I'm not really I'm not. I I don't the, care about the, that. I'm not the, trying the to score points. The short is yes, and I'm aware where you're going, and I I agree that it's impressive technology. It's just science. Like you no, can, it's science. I, it's little. I can explain dude, it to dude, you. I don't like literally break statement. it down. What does that have to do with reality? Are you being able to see the future? I, I, I wasn't aware you were able to break do it down. That. I don't. Yeah, I'll break it down. I can do it. I literally can. Oh, you can see the future. You can guarantee no, me something is going to happen. You, I can tell you how simulated You can guarantee works. me something's going to happen? No, no, no. I can tell you how simulated reality works. Do you want to know that? No, no. You can tell me how reality like, works No, you no, must no. live in it. No, no. Okay, look, yes. Look, I mean, no, so, I'm saying like, No, it, it, so, he's, make, he's so, making so, an He's so making like, an You're, an you're starting out with a fundamental flaw here. He's ma- he's, it's, a, it's an inference I'm, based off the, on I'm the current... Studying. Hold on. It's an inference based on a current projection of technology. Like, sure, like, I mean, like, I mean, if you, if you really think about it, you know, like uh, atomic decay could start tomorrow and, uh, and all of existence just get wiped out or something like that. And then, yeah, obviously this it isn't going to go. I mean, the, the simulation won't exist then. But like 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 given the tr- current trends, that's definitely the way we, we're uh, we're headed. Like Give people three already. Can I have three minutes and I'll explain everything. You can have as much time as you okay. want. But if you make a stupid assertion, I'm going to call you out on it. And and that's okay with that. That's all, that's the whole reason why we exist, right? I'm cool with that. But look, here's here's how it works. I watched a three hour demonstration of the Neuralink company owned by Elon Musk, and this is what they do. They bore a tiny hole in your head. Sometimes there's multiple holes, and they they put tiny little antennas inside your neurons. These are really, really tiny. I mean, they're like, you wouldn't, I don't think you could see them with your human eye. Yeah, yeah they're those, across, or they're less than the window. Microscopic, window, but, yeah, correct, yeah. yeah. Those I watched little, the same demonstration, so you don't, I mean, I guess for the, the people watching, but. Well, yeah, for the people watching. And this is why I'm like, kind of like at odds with these, because like, they can sit there and they can read the neural synapses. They can understand when you think something and they can, Process information without you needing to do anything. You don't have to touch your thumbs on a freaking keyboard. You don't have to do any of that. And so, also, those neurons can feed into your brain signals that tell you what someone else thinks. They can tell you how you feel. And those are the things that we're talking about in terms of simulations. And so, when you look at Brian Greene and Neil deGrasse Tyson and Richard Dawkins, these people aren't just stupid and they've had they made a logical flaw they're looking at the technology and it's going to come and it's going to there's going to be a point where you can live and you're going to feel as if there's a breeze excuse me there's a breeze that's touching your face and there's a sound of an ocean wave and all of those things it's going to happen because of what descartes said freaking whatever 300 years ago, your senses are just a matter of synapses telling your brain what you believe or perceive. And so I think, you know, I think that um, 
Brian Green and, and Dawkins and I think that Neil deGrasse Tyson will come to his senses and uh, and Elon Musk will tell you that's legit. Like having yeah, a, I love, a I love how you sum that up with saying that's legit. Uh, can I point yeah, out like a because really it's also connected. Sure. Like, you're you're aware that like in order for you to say that any of this is a simulation, that a reality outside of the simulation must exist. Yeah. At least you in need the, the, the painting and or picture that you just gave. How do you sure. know you're in that? So let's can, can I try to can I try to uh, steal man? Well, no, be, 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 no, no, ask, no, ask, ask, you, ask the, do, ask the do question. Do whatever you want. I don't well, think so, it's gonna matter. I, well, okay, so okay, so I mean, I, I don't want to just regurgitate regurgitate Neil deGrasse Tyson's argument, but he, I mean, like you, you understand the point when he was saying, like, if if um if a simulation is possible, then multiple simulations are possible. I don't and, disagree. I don't disagree with so that. Cool, cool. So if there's multiple simul if there's multiple simulations, and then there can only be one reality, just by sheer probability, you would be in, in one of the simulations. How about this? So in this current, like in our current reality, hold up though. Yeah. Let, 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 let me, let me just, just, just for funsies here, go with me on a very short trip. Okay. But I, I was, I was about to go to a really important point though. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. So, so like, so in, in this universe is a simulation possible. I, I mean, I, I, I'm not going to say it's impossible. Uh, so sure. It's possible. Well, uh, of course it is. So, of course it is. Because like, when I'm talking about possibility, you know, like I'm saying, like it, it doesn't violate any sort of law of contradiction. Like, because you had talked about like a, a god earlier, just um telling me stuff. Like, I, I don't think a god is impossible. So, okay, uh, so, so, like, so I, I mean, by that reason, like, what, what can I can I before you get too far so, down that rabbit hole? Like, do you think that there is a multiverse? Is there an infinite well, number of universes? Uh, for very different reasons, but okay, my yes, yes, yeah, yeah. I believe there's a multiverse for Do you for very. There's an infinite number of universes. I don't know if it's infinite, but so like I mean, like for for me, the the uh, the best the best model of we have of the cosmos is quantum loop gravity. We have um, zero evidence of it, but to me, it's just what makes the most sense. And so with quantum loop gravity, you're not going to have an infinite number. It's going to be a fixed number, but it's growing. Yeah, and top so, scientists actually support the idea of multiverse. No, no, no. no like, like, so, like, for, it's just like, there's, let's say there's 21 universes. Right now, there's 21. And then it grows to 22. Right. Right. So, so well, that's, that's what I'm saying. It does that, and and also the universes can uh, put um, c um, cl clash chain on itself, and, and then and top with this. So the, the, the number it, it's a certain number, but it, it's just right. it's changing. That's not. But al also, like top experts, and and I'm not saying to like appeal to authority, right? That's like we all know that can be false. Mm -hmm. So I'm not saying what I'm saying is true. I'm just saying that people who study this more than me and and uh, and you and us and stuff, the multi. Verse is very, very popular and accepted. That's not the best, right? Like defense of the theory, but I'm just saying. Yeah, like, yeah. There's, there's like zero empirical evidence of the multiverse. Well, and, yeah, and, I mean, and, I, and I'm, I'm going to say, I'm admit that. Being, my I wouldn't say zero. Back to the original point. You said I didn't. Go, go ahead. My, my problem is that you, we did. We, we essentially just have to go back to the initial point. That being, let's say hypothetically, there are currently two universes, which is almost an ironic thing because uni needs one, right? Mm -hmm. but let's say there's two, and in one universe, there is no life. There is nothing that is remotely similar to what we have in ours. Yep. We live in universe two. Universe one looks nothing like it. So there's nothing to be simulated because there's nothing there. What are your no, chances no, no, no. that you live in universe oh, I, I, one? I, that's, universe that's, two? That's, that's, this is what I was, that I was trying to clear up earlier because I, I think it's just a misunderstanding of, of simulation, right? Because like a, 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 a simulation wouldn't necessarily require life, like so we're okay, not so talking what's about being so simulated so, in universe one. What would you simulate? So, so you like, you could you could just simulate how what, would you define a you, simulation in our so universe? you could you could just simulate what's happening in universe two. So, so, so when I'm, so when we talking about like the, 
um, the um, the initial universe, right? That's one that that uh, um, that comes about through physics. Well, are we talking about the second one? The, the stimulation, the stimulation comes through physics. Yeah. In or a, yeah. Oh, so, so a hypothetical multiverse. How, how, how about this? So the um, I don't want to get this. This can could, get really confusing. I could tell you what Brian Green would say because Brian Green would say. You have no evidence of that universe. You only have evidence of the universe you're in, um, which contains simulations. So that's true. you are making the, yeah, but, the pro pause, proposition. Pause. The, the, no, here's you're what you're making about the to proposition. Do, in the no. universe you live in, you don't have good yeah. evidence that you live in a, a uh, simulation. So we, you can't make we, one assumption no, without making no, no, the other. No, no, no. Mm, no. This is what Brian Green would say. We have but, tons of simulations, bro. We have simulations. No, 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 no. I didn't say that. What's wrong? Don't, don't, don't dare put those words in my mouth because either actually attack my argument or don't well, let talk me hear. on it. Maybe I didn't understand it. Okay, so what I What's said was there's no good evidence that we live in a simulation. No, that's not their point. That's not okay, Brian's point. So that's don't not attack Richard me point. and don't attack my argument like I just said simulations don't exist. Those are no. two different things. I didn't say it wasn't possible. I didn't say that simulations don't exist. I didn't say we're not in one. I said there's no good evidence to show that we are in a simulation. It, they Just don't, like there's no good evidence that another universe outside of our own exists. Yeah, but, but However, Dawkins if you want to give the possibility of a multiverse, a multiverse no. meaning more than one universe, a universe in which a simulation no, does exist, no. and a universe in which a simulation does not exist, are equally probable so, when it's an unobservable hypothesis. So, so Dawkins, Brian Greene, and the other guys Tyson would not tell you that we live in a simulation. I, I, I mean, like, look, I you respect. Just, I, look, pause. Let, me, let, me, let me just do something real okay. quick because it's, it's been is uh, annoying me slightly, and it's, it's a personal thing. I agree that those three are really intelligent. I don't care for this argument. I want to know your argument against what I just said. I, I don't want to know them. what you think Brian Greene's <laughs> saying. I don't yeah. care what Neil deGrasse Tyson said and recanted on. I want to know your specific argument against yeah. mine. Because if you're unwilling it. or incapable of making one, then we're kind of at no. a standstill. And no, my I'll point being that if, it's, if, if a universe in which if we assume that logic is across the multiverse a is either a or not a law of excluded middle then a universe in which a reality is being simulated and a universe in which a reality is not being simulated are equally probable when it's an unobservable we, we, hypothesis so we live in a universe where reality is simulated that's their no. point pause no so Wait a minute. We don't have simulations in our universe. They definitely do. So like, so, like, what we know about <laughs> I mean, come on. We're, we're, we're homes reality? Literally, no, no. there's tons of reality simulated on a day to day basis. Yeah, that's that's how Flights, we study quantum fluctuations. Data. I mean, literally games. I mean, literally that. So that's why I, I'm a little bit ups, I'm 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 a little bit you know concerned because well, when you have the head of when you have the head of physics. At an Ivy League college, and you say, "No, I have the truth." That's scary. So, what it, so, so what I'm saying what, is, what, what do you it, mean by simulation? Let, let's take on the argument I just made. It's funny. Do, how that do, works. Does the law, like law of excluded middle, still exist? Sure. Not a, I don't so, even know what you're talking about. The point is, is that these people uh, okay, do you know on what stage, the law of excluded middle smarter is? than us. No, I'm asking, do you know what the law of excluded middle is? I don't know a lot of things, my friend. Okay, okay. So, I mean, I'm not trying to be rude, but if you don't know a lot, maybe not trying yeah. to condescend and quote I'm, every scientist you can think of when trying to I'm put not, a point on something. I'm that literally I'm making, quoting the scientists. I'm making a on philosophical that. argument on. You're crazy, man. I'm, I'm bringing. Up I'm the making a who philosophical point. Does the law of so, excluded middle exist? Since you don't so, know, let AAA that, answer. Okay. Yeah, yes. Yes. The okay. Also, so, a, in just... in a hypothetical situation, something is either a or it is non a. Is that correct? Yes. So, a universe that no exists in pause. I, I have no fine. idea for the record. That's why I'm asking him. Because I'm ignorant. Don't interrupt me. So, in a in in a situation in which the law of excluded middle exists, mm -hmm. the universe either it has a simulated reality, mm -hmm. or 
a universe that does not have a simulated reality. It cannot be both simultaneously, otherwise it would break yes. the law of God's contradiction. That, that is, that it is, is either true. one or the other. Yes. So if multiverses exist, which is your hypothesis, you could live in a universe equally probably that has a simulated reality and does no, not. It's, not. it's not equally probable. Why not? It has well, to so, be one or the other. Yeah, but that's, that's, you know, that's, that's not. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. It I, is I, a complete I, hypothetical no, situation. Stop, stop, no, no, I can, I can, I can, I can explain this. So, so you can have, yes, yeah, so you have either. So, if we exclude the middle, right? A or non A, right? That doesn't mean they're. That doesn't mean they're equally probable, right? If I play the lottery, I either win or I will not win. It doesn't mean that my chances of winning are fifty percent. I, I agree. So okay, so, let, so that let, that's that's the point that I'm making. So well, so, well, let's, so excluded let's medical you. so excluded medical and in and in in can exist, but it doesn't mean there's a fifty percent chance that we I'm, live I'm in not, a universe I'm not where it that, that there's a fifty percent chance. I'm saying well, it's not it equally equal, probable. Why is it not equally probable when you have only <laughs> two things that can that's, exist? I don't see why it would be impossible. It breaks no law of logic, and there's like there, there's there's no reason why it couldn't just spontaneously I, come. I'm not saying it. it does. I'm saying but it that's either that's is or it is not. Yes, it is that's true. It. Either it is or it's not. That is true. That's it. I'm not saying that it does. I'm saying that because it either is or it is not, your chances of living in one in which it is, and your chances of living in one in which it is not, are the same. That's, that's incorrect. A, that's that's incorrect. That's, 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 that's incorrect. That's the point that's wrong. That's they, incorrect. Yes. Brian Green would tell you we have more evidence. Okay, bro. bro for... Brian Green, I, I, let, let, let's no. quote him again. Look, can, I can, no, no, are no, you no, going to no. start quoting him or are you going to actually argue okay. for once? I'm, I'm, okay, I'm, telling you, I'm telling you what he would say. But, uh, no, I watched his I'm, conversation. I'm, 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 you know, I'm not going to think Brian Green. Brian Green. Okay, I think there's a problem. So, so because you said there's throw him out. You said it's possible that we live in in a universe where simulation exists. And also possible we don't live in a simulation exists. Therefore, a, there's equal probabilities. No, of both. No, 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 no. I'm, no. I'm, I'm, I'm asking that. That's oh, what we, that sounds okay. like what you just said, facade. That's that's where me and Morpheus disagreed. That's what I'm saying. So the law of excluded middle does not guarantee fifty percent for either side. It could be ninety nine and one. Well, well, that's well, that's what that's what you're basing your argument on. It's what not I'm saying is you have an unobservable thing. Let's say Schrodinger's cat. You're familiar with it. Yes. Until you open the box and find out you were unaware of the actual The box is already box. open. That's the problem. How, how is the box well, open? Because well, no, we can okay. we can perceive we're getting lost in the simulated no, 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 okay. reality. Let's get into this because now 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 my whole point could be literally there's no way to prove anything that no. you're about to say, but say it no, anyway. No, 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 no. <laughs> like we, we, we only have we could essentially lead this to solipsism. That's my whole point. Well, um, maybe well, I could. Yeah, be wrong. I, you, I'm you not saying I'm right. Could. No, I'm not saying I'm right. You can't, can't rule out. You can't rule out solipsism. So, so here's what this so is. So if you what can't I'm rule out solipsism, then literally nothing can be known, and it is not no. possible to know no. reality. No, no, that, that, that isn't. That, is, that, that, that all is, we have is what we know. know. No, 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 first of all, no, no, there's a bunch of leaps going on here. So like, so like, like, in a nutshell. No, isn't so. What do you mean by known? Like you talking about 100 percent certainty? Yes. Okay, well, that's not what I, that's not how I used to term no, right? Like, I'm a fallibilist, okay, just like, so, like every other scientist ever. So, okay, like, so, so you, let's let's play this game of leaps of logic. Go ahead. Well, I, I wanted I wanted to go back to what you were saying earlier. You were saying there was equal probability that we live in a, a universe with a simulation as one that we don't. Yeah, we disagree. I disagree. Yeah, that's that that, 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 that is that is fundamentally wrong. That that's that's a misappropriation of the uh, um, or misapplication of the well, law of the I school of middle. Asked it, if you believe in the multiverse and an infinite number of universes. Well, that's well, that's, that's a speculation too. Not, I don't believe in equal a, number. That's a speculation. I, I don't believe in an if I don't believe in an infinite number, but I believe in several. <laughs> We, Dude, we we only know what we I, observe. I get it's speculation because it's not observable. My question was, is that something that you believe? No. Well, it. N I don't believe that it's infinite. I think Jesus. people, I think the Are scientists right that now? the scientists that have spoken on this subject are only going to commentate on the things that they can actually prove and observe. So That's why it. would they commentate on, on saying things like a, a multiverse would exist? Because they can't prove or observe it. Because you want me to explain the science? I'm well, happy you to just do so. Said one thing, and I'm asking, why would they do yeah. something else? If you look at the history you just of science, said they would do something. If if you look I'm at the history, an example of when they're not doing that. 
if you look at the history of science, there was one planet, then there was more to, uh, multiple planets, then there was multiple solar systems, okay. then there was multiple uh, galaxies, was there, ever there was multiple everything, uh, every uh, the logical the progression, the progression logically according to science is that there's always been multiple of everything. If you go okay, back to the pause, origin pause, pause. of science, pause. you don't want to hear the explanation. I want you. To I'll give you the explanation something. if you want to hear it. I want you to understand. I'll give something. you the explanation. You want to hear the explanation? Can I can I get a thought out, or you just want to talk? I want to explain to you why they came to the conclusion they did. I, I'm telling you this: Did those planets ever not exist? That has nothing to do with it. They observed it. It does exist they because literally the only thing that changes no, is I, observation I, and knowledge surrounding. No, no, no. no they I think, observed no, no, no. the progression he, he was, hold, of hold, multiple. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> this, 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 everybody, everybody, stop! No, 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 no. no, no. Everybody, stop! No, 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 no. Hold, hold. Yeah. There was this, okay. this miscommunication. There's this miscommunication going on. So, yeah. so Morpheus, when you said you said like like um earlier um like back in the day when we were first studying sciences, the first it was only one planet, then it was only one solar system. What you were you what you had meant to say was we only knew about one planet, then yeah, only right. knew about what well, that's that's what he was Correct. talking what you're about. Saying is so that knowledge is increasing so, over time. Yes. Yes. Okay. Cool. Great. But so so you, also, you were like, why also, also, we know. Well, yeah, yeah, it isn't. Yeah, that, that's not what he was saying at all. He he was just oh. talking about a knowledge of it. Also, like on on top of that, like there's there's a lot of the mathematical at, um implications of of quantum loop gravity um, shows that it's just a necessity. And the the same with super string theory, and the same with M theory. Just about like like I, I, any any sort of attempt that we've made to blend um the standard model with general relativity implies a multiverse so it is it, literally if you look in every single theory when he tried to have a grand unified theory i agree physics, with you it, it always I'm, yeah, I'm I, well I, i'm talking to, I, I was i was this i was talking to facade about this that that this oh. is why i believe in a multiverse there has to be one i mean you're talking about like 11 to 12 okay, different I, dimensions i mean okay. so, so to me it seems like we we do two things in this conversation that are really funny they're hilarious to me. One, we say, there's a theory that could imply this. And then we say, well, I believe it because of this theory. And I would say, okay, like a good theory is you have good reason to believe in it, right? And then I could say something like, well, essentially that could lead you to, to say things like solipsism. Because essentially, if something could hypothetically exist, something could also not ever hypothetically exist. And just the the same well, logic that no. you're using could be completely wrong. We could no. just be no, 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 no. Wrong I, 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 so I, I don't, it could be I don't think so. Completely thrown out the window because no. we're just idiots. Okay, well, I, I, I don't. Well, I wanted to go back to when you said that something could hypothetically not exist, right? So, like, reality could hypothetically exist, but but could re reality hypothetically not exist? No. There's more evidence for one so, than the other. So, but That's so, and, 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 and also, I, I think, I think this is like this is a good example where I was talking about like your like your misapplication of law of excluded middle, right? So you have a hundred and zero, yet it's still they still both apply. You have a and non a, but just non a is zero possibility. All we have evidence says is one. That's a, that's kind of the problem. But that, that's well, like, but, point. It, it's like you want to play both sides of the field. Well, we have examples of one I'm not universe, playing. and yet we have to appeal to a multiverse. That's all they're doing. To get touched. Right? No, they would, they no. would probably agree with you. Actually, actually, seriously, Brian Greene, Dawkins, they'd probably agree with you because, like, they're not saying that there isn't a possibility of other. They're just saying that given the evidence, all we know is that this is possible. But they'd probably still agree with you that there's, like, you know, the possibility of zero. I mean, that that has to still be a possibility, but we don't know. They're saying the probability, which is the the main argument, I guess, or the prop the 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 um, the, the statistical majority is one specific side. But you could still be right. I mean, I'm. I think that's the big thing. Is like all we can do is look at the world around us and come up with an idea. That doesn't mean we're right. And no one should ever say they're 100% right because that's stupid, right? I mean, we're all smarter than that. My whole point, my whole point
point, and this, I get 100%, I swear to you, I get the whole, you think there's a flaw in my understanding of law excluded middle. But as the one that we have observed in which we can generate some form of reality with technology, okay? Let's say, hypothetically, nine other universes exist, okay? There's, there's ten total. Mm -hmm. However... We're the only one we can observe and prove and do any calculations with or about, right? But what if in all nine of the other ones, it is not possible to simulate reality in any way? My point being, if okay, there's so, an unobservable, well, unknowable factor, your cool, chances so, of that being a universe in which I, it does hold, 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 it for, be done and it cannot be done are identical. Like so, when when you say like in the other universes, when he said it's not possible, like what do you mean by like not possible? Are you saying like it would violate the laws of physics, or would it violate the law of logic? I, I mean, I don't care because I'm just well, saying it, it, it makes it, is it, it, it makes not. a big difference on whether or not like I'm gonna follow your line of reasoning. I, I'm because, just saying it either is or it is not, and I'm saying in this universe it does not. I don't know why. I, yeah, I can see your point. I. Okay. I, I think your point is because should like, be I mean, considered. I, admittedly, I could go to things like gods and deities, and I yeah, can make right, up right, right, right. physics that exist but only in that universe. Exactly. But there's no but, need for me to do that. I'm just saying the reality for that universe means that it cannot be simulated. I don't think that, honestly, I don't think that, and I know you hate for me to bring up these people, but I'm just saying... I, I don't necessarily think that. Up. I just want you to argue from your perspective, not theirs. Well, I'm just, I'm, I think through their minds, but I don't. I don't think they would necessarily disagree with you on this point. I think they would say we, the evidence just just points towards something different. And you're right. They're, I don't think they can tell you you're wrong. And I wouldn't tell you you're wrong. I think you're right, actually. Um, of course, there could be a universe where there's no possibility of simulation, but our universe only tells us one thing: there's possibility of simulation, and that's why they made the the, the claim they made. But it would be a very interesting conversation to hear their thoughts on, on that counter-argument because that's a good counter-argument. I mean, I'm going to say it's not... Point, my whole point being is, like, obviously taking the, the multiverse as a, a a reality, if you will. It's taking it as, like, multiverses definitely exist. Mm -hmm. There's no way we can observe at currently. I'm not saying they don't, may not well, in the future... There is so there is that though they're working on experiments for for the well, multiverse. Like I said, they they could in the future be able to do you some sort will. of well, test or hypothesis well, for for no, the, the, there's, there's, universe. There's, well, there's a current test that's possible. Like because okay, it's, it's not like you said like there's no way we could prove that occur. anything exists except our own universe. Well, I mean, so like right now it, it is we don't have any evidence that there's something outside. Okay, so what I just said was an absolute true statement. No, you said there was no way to prove it. And that's there's, that there's no way to currently There's prove lots it. of universes, that's for sure. You said there's no way to currently know? Yes, there's no way to currently know that the other universes exist. No, there is no. there is a no, there is a way to know. Yeah, there's like, lots just, of universes. We, we just don't have right. we just don't have the evidence. I could, I could Well, well, it depends. Are you talking about a universe well, outside of our universe? Well, yes, I'm talking about for the universe out they're doing experiments now for for quantum loop gravity. So like we so yeah. we're talking about like the, there's some sort of meta gravitational field where um, um, gravitational bubbles are bursting out of those, right? And yeah, expanding yeah. and contracting and all that kind of stuff, right? And so they live in sort of this, I guess, in this omniverse, so, right? Yeah. And these, Can we these define knowledge real quick? Yeah, so, okay. I, um, you, you specifically, since you're making this argument? Uh, well, like, I'm, not, um, I'm not making an argument. I was just explaining the experiment that that they're um, okay. But we, typically, can you, yeah, go ahead. You're you're explaining an experiment as proving a point to point to knowledge. You said you you said we can well, know other universes exist. So yes, they, 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 have, they, have, they have an experiment. If they have an experiment, can, can you please it? define knowledge in the sense that you just used it? Yeah, I I could say uh, I mean knowledge is just, uh, uh, a justified true I, belief. Is that where you're going to go with it? Well, I. I think there's some problems with that. Like uh, for me, it, you could I could say that I know something if the contrary would be like worldview altering. Well, n n I mean, you you could say you believe something if it's worldview altering. 
no, 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 it's like, no, no, uh, so like, I like, I, I believe, I mean, there's a lot of things I believe is that I, I wouldn't say that I know. So like, okay. uh, can you give so me like, an example if, of something if, that you if, know? If, if there's a belief that I have and I hold this and I, I say that I hold this belief so dearly that it will be worldview altering, I call that knowledge. Okay. Can you give me one example of something that you know? Yeah, I know that one plus one is two. How do you know that? Like, cause like we can, I mean, I mean, I, I can, I can walk you through the, um, what, what was, the, uh, what was that philosopher who did that, like that 10 page proof about, uh, how one plus one equal two. I mean, this, I, I mean, there've been physicists since I mean, as a joke have proved that one plus one equals zero. My whole point being that. It, well, I mean, I assume, assume in base 10. The, I mean, the, the, the knowledge thing really has nothing to do with the experiment. It, it, was, it kind you know. of does, because I said you could know other universes exist, and you said I was wrong. You said you could know yes, other you can universes know. exist. How yes. can you so, know, so like, so, and so, how so, could so, I so, know another universe so, exists? To the, to, the same, to the same extent that you could, to the, same, um, to the same extent that you can know the Big Bang happened, you could know yeah. that other universes exist. Okay. It's let, a very similar experiment. Let's let's break some things down. This is craziness. Okay. Yeah. We I all know where, I don't know where the knowledge we're, is going. I mean, no, I don't well, know but, where that has anything to do with the point. We're all adults here, okay? I, none of us should fall for the one plus one equals two or zero argument. Okay, that's ridiculous. It's well, not yeah, it's I mean, not it's not a legitimate argument. It has to do with semantics and context and definition. Yeah. But we all know that it's, it's, a, it's, a way to like, it's a way to like freaking like you know. Uh, target people who have never understood deconstructionism or whatever, and that, that it's not doing anything healthy for us. But in terms of like, how do you know knowledge? I mean, come on, like I'm not asking how we, you know knowledge. I'm asking specifically how you know another universe exists. Yeah, okay. I was. That's okay. what. That's what I was doing. You know I was explaining the experiment. No, no, hold on, hold on. but that, that's my whole point. You could literally just I, evolve into solipsism there. Yeah. So why are we? No. Why are we dealing with this? We're like, all more intelligent than because that. I, I'm curious how one would know another universe exists when there's no, no, I, could, I, no, I was giving, no I was giving you the evidence for it. That's what I was. Trying, I was trying. To, I was watching. And, and I, I was that. waiting for it to come then, until we got interrupted. Okay, okay. No, but I was giving this. But you asked me about knowledge. So like, so so yeah. So you say you know something that, like this universe exists. How how do you know that? I didn't say. Well, I didn't say I know the universe exists. I was saying that it's possible to to um to know. About uh, uh, know that there's a multiverse, and okay. that's that's all, that's all I was that? saying. And it, it, there's an experiment. We we okay. may have frozen. Did we, we freeze? We froze for a second there, but okay. it's back. Yeah, I, I was I was just explaining the experiment. So, but like first, I had to give some quantum. I uh, had to get some some um some background uh, information about how quantum loop gravity works, because otherwise, if I, I describe the experiment, it's not going to make any sense to you. So so anyway so these uh, um in the, the in the meta um gravitational field you have these tiny um um uh gravit um gravitational singularities morphic into ex existence right some expand and collapse and some expand forever and then and that's it and then some are just right right and so the ones that are just right they're the ones that continue to exist in this in this uh those um those metas pocket universes that are bouncing around they're messing around in some sort of omniverse. And it, if one was to um, co uh, run a collide into another one, what you would expect to see is a bunch of radiation um, out in the cosmos. And it would be like in a kind of in a circular fashion, kind of like the same way that you would expect if a bubble were to hit each other. And so that's what so that's what they're doing. So they're looking out into the CMBR, the cosmic um, um, microwave background radiation, looking to see if they can um, see some sort of imprint of that, and that would be evidence of it. That's that's um, that's one experiment that they're doing. That they, that that would be the first. And, and they've discovered uh, this evidence. They have not. So you still know that another universe exists, though. No, I don't know if another universe exists. Well, you said you could know that another universe exists. Yes, I could know that another universe exists, but I do not know that another universe exists. Okay, so whether another universe exists or not is currently unknown. Yes, it is currently unknown. Okay, so my point but I stands. Could know. No, well, you said I couldn't know, and yes, I could. It's like, yeah, it's, there's it's, still it's, potential for knowing. Yeah, I mean, like, it does like, know. Okay, there's I mean, still it's, potential. No, no, I, but... I, he, 
There's a that, potential that's, that's that there's a little green man living inside my head. Yeah, but some oh. potential is better than okay. others. Okay, hold on, hold on, I mean, hold on. Hold on. Like, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't know what we could freeze. Okay, so this is this is the bag, right? Right. Um, I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, I can see it. Okay, okay. So I know what a bag I actually, is. I, yeah, actually, I have not opened this bag. I got this bag for re enlisting in the army for like another three years. So anyway, I haven't opened it. I have no idea what's inside it. Could I know what's inside? Could I know what's sure, inside the bag? That's sure, not, sure. Yes, there's yes. potential. Yes, but do I? But do I know what's inside? No, I no. don't. Right. That is does, that's that's all I'm saying. So does, I does could. That, does that grant you that another universe definitely exists? No, and I'm not saying that I know that. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is that there there are the empirical evidence could exist, and we have experiments but, for but it. We don't have if, any of it. We don't have it. But that's that's like most like could, scientific claims. I mean, that's, that's they take. They make us. They they make assertions, or you could say not assertions. Um, proclamations, if you will. Yeah, abductions. Whatever. They 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 look at the the universe, and and this is why the original claim even came into existence. They said, "Well, look around us. There's all these simulations. Wouldn't it make sense that in the future we'd come up with a simulation?" You're right. It could be 100 percent false. Everyone can agree with you on that, including myself, because I have no idea. But I mean, it's a decent assumption, right? I mean, it's better than nothing. It's better than like looking at you know a rain hitting a pond and say, "Well, we might just become rain in a pond." Like, I, I'm just saying, like, we have to at some point just kind of like find common ground to a certain degree. You said, What's up? You said faith. <laughs> well, no, no, it's not faith because faith has is is absent of of factual empirical evidence. Whereas these claims that these scientists like, are making the have some a second universe or a multiverse. No, there's tons and tons of mathematical yeah, evidence. Yeah. At least. I mean, there, that's, that's what I'm saying. There's, there's every, a lot every, of theories every, that point that it's possible that multiverse exists. Yeah, but well, no, not that it's it, possible that it would have to be. Like, so, like, dude, like every time, every time they try to blend um, quantum physics with general relativity, you get a multiverse. Like every every single theory. M theory has it, well, super string okay, theory, but, 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 string like, theory, quantum loop gravity, they all have like just That's just for the sake of playing devil's advocate, because it's all I've been doing mm -hmm. is let's say hypothetically, every one of these theories is wrong because the people that exist now are the smartest people that have ever existed, but they're still infinitely dumb compared to how we're gonna be in 50 years. But all we have is, unless you're gonna transgress to nihilism. All we have well, that, is that's the my evidence. Point, is that you could always, especially when sure. you're talking about an entire sure. reality existing yeah. in a simulation. Yeah, why not throw just it all go away. to nihilism? You could just throw it all away, and, and there's plenty of I agree. arguments if, towards if that. If everything is existing in a simulation, why not just be a nihilist? Well, because it, I, I mean, we could do a whole episode on that because I've studied <laughs> yeah. that deeply and I've written papers on it. But I can tell you right now, nihilism is giving up. If you want to give up on life and the opportunities we have as sentient human beings, more power to you. But guess what? Let me tell you something. Happiness happens. It, it has to do with enduring life's challenges. No, it and, doesn't. Well, okay. it's well that's just your opinion. Brain. Well, no, it's you know, endorphins in the brain. I can prove right, it to you. I, I, I was going to say <laughs> whether or not it's a simu whether or not this is a simulation or not. Like suffering still. Um, is still a real thing, and I, I don't like to suffer. So that's what if, if you want to. What, what that's if it's no, just, funny? It's what funny. If it's just you want fabricated. to? It's, well, it, it, no, either I'm, way, I'm, like my brain can't tell. Like so, like so. No. So if I whether or not I feel like you're you're like peeling that's my skin hilarious. off, or whether you're actually doing it. Like the no, I love it. Still I, be there. I I so your point How do that you happiness know? is endorphins in the brain. I've been there, man. I can go down that tunnel with you. We can we can go down that path, and I'll prove to you but that, that must, happiness. That must, that must demonstrate a shared reality. It does. It does because oh. me and you thought of the same no. thing. Well, and I'm telling you right now, like, it's 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 deeper than that. In because order yes, to, no, no. to have a shared experience, but, yeah. So, like I mean, you, you. I mean, he's right. You're right. I'm not sitting okay. here going to argue with you on that one. <laughs> happiness is a, literally a chemical, you know. I mean, we could shoot up heroin and I'll be happy, but but reality is much. I would say, 
existence is much deeper than that. And so you have to move past I, that why? truth. Because that's just a fact. That has why? nothing to do with reality. You don't get to say it's just a fact and then that's it. Like, it is. It's just a fact. If okay, I shoot a, you in the face, you're going to die. I'm a blue it's smurf. a fact. It's a fact that I'm a blue smurf. If, if I close off your air from your mouth, you're going to die in your nose. That's no. a fact. No, that's should that's we base a, our whole existence that you might on think that? that? But I could exist in a reality in which that doesn't happen. No, no. you don't. If I smother I could, you, you're going to die you know every that? time. Because I know. Uh, how do you know Scientific. that? Though? You say I, I can every state things too. Been, every hey, every, hey, every hey, Jew hey, that was robbed of oxygen died. Can, that's a fact. I, I'm, no, that that's an opinion based off of what you what, observe, what, what you what you what? like. Wait, yeah, you stop, stop, Jews stop. Oh, of yo, 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 we gotta stop there. We gotta stop there. I know, I know that's what that means, hilarious. but the audience listening may not understand the philosophy. Yeah, I'm, you're right. You're right. I don't want to be. Like, yeah, yes, you're right. I'm, We're getting deep. <laughs> yeah, all right. So, but no, um, you guys all have good 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 opinions. I, I love it, man, because you guys are smart. Seriously. I'll, I wanted, I wanted to do, uh, do, uh, in my little time left, I wanted to like uh, shift it to another uh, point because we, we, we're talking a lot about simulations, but not, not necessarily about reality. Like to, to, to you, like what do you, what does existence, so what does it mean to exist? Like for instance, I, I'll tell you what I mean. When I, I, like, I, I look at it in a very, like I'm a, I'm a huge physics nerd, if, if, you, if you couldn't tell already. But like, uh, so when I think of existence, to me, to exist means to occupy space at a time, right? So like, kind of like, um, a lot of times you hear, um, I really just want to keep playing devil's advocate here. How do you know you exist? Because well, I could say well, I define well, reality as okay. a stream of consciousness. I mean, I mean you. We could just go to to, to the Kagito. I mean, but it's a little bit like a, a, off the the topic that I was trying to ask. Oh, um, I thought you were going down the direction of how you can prove you exist. No, no, no. I'm not. Uh, no, no. Not how, how you can prove existence. But like, I'm just talking about like just ontology. Like, what does it mean to exist? So like, uh, there's a lot of um, a lot of times like Christians they'll say stuff like like God is transcendent. Like God exists out of space and time. And that's the to me that's not a coherent statement. They like to say something exists outside of time. To, to say that it exists for zero time, that is the same thing as saying that it does not exist at all. But to say that it 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 it, it exists outside of space is to say that it it does not it, it exists nowhere. Uh, I'll, so if like, if you allow me you know, thirty seconds, sure. Let me just let me answer everyone's question. No one knows. First of all, just like if you're an atheist, you're ignorant. We don't know what what created us. We don't know why we're here. No one knows that. That's not an answer that anyone knows. And also, it's not a scientific proposition to claim such assertions. We don't know. It's a mystery. And to say that you know is a fallacy. Point blank. So, anyway, I, I guess I would just say Somebody that. Somebody might know. I mean, no, no one knows. Right? No I mean, you don't know that. that. I mean, it could we be. don't know. <laughs> no, yeah, could be that's my job. Knows. Stop. Right. <laughs> I'm doing it We're the whole episode. Human. It's my job. You put it down. Okay. We're all human. We don't know why we're here. Yeah. Honestly. So, so more free. Let, let me ask you this, because I think uh, uh, Triple A was trying to go there. Uh, how do you define reality? Or, or how, it's, yeah, I mean, like, I'll, I'll go with that exact question. I guess the best way I would describe it is like, it's it's what I have. It doesn't mean it's true. It doesn't mean it's false. I, at any point in time, trust me, I've had some freaking ex existential crises. I mean, I don't know who I am, to be honest with you. Like, I, I, but at the same time, this is what is. So I, that's why I like Deleuze. If you ever studied Deleuze, um, Deleuze believed that philosophy should be a study of contradictions not of truth and i love that because i'm a contradiction i love truth but i'm a contradiction i'm i'm a walking in logically inconsistent person so i i don't know you know and and that's the truth i really don't anyone who tells me they know i'm very skeptical of because i'm like you don't know none of us do all we know is that we exist and we don't exist. That's all we know. 
whatever we think existence is, which we have some common, we, I mean, we can, there's common ground there, right? I mean, we can share thoughts, we can share experiences, all those things, but that in itself is existence. And then there's the idea of a non-existence, which is the state of being before you were born and the state of being that our ancestors hold. But that's all we know. I mean, we don't really know why we're here. There's no, and from a, from a nihilistic perspective, Nietzsche was right. I mean, Nietzsche was the king of nihilism. He kind of introduced that to the philosophical world. But at the same time, I, I think Nietzsche was was wrong on his on his nihilism. Well, I I don't I, I don't like Nietzsche in the sense that, I, first of all, I love Nietzsche and I don't like him. Another contradiction, mm -hmm. but you know, I I I like Nietzsche in the sense that humans need to be punched in the stomach and have a reality, um, have a reality check, because we're not great. We're not amazing. We have a lot of flaws, and we have to understand that. In the same sense, um, I so can completely I, understand. I, I thought Nietzsche's you were referring to when, when Nietzsche said, like, when he was talking about pretty much when he said, like, the I guess the logical conclusion of atheism is is nihilism. Uh, so, well, so he he was so wrong on that. Well, so here's Nietzsche's contribution. Okay, I mean, I I've, I could be wrong. Don't get me wrong, but this is my study of him. Nietzsche's biggest um, concern was with the hubris of man. Um, he wrote the Antichrist. He wrote um, lies in a non-moral sense. And he wasn't a kind of geometrical philosopher in the same way Spinoza was. He was more of a literature philosopher. So he he wrote his, his kind of issues in prose to a certain degree. But um, his, his issue was that human beings can only perceive the world, and this is by his text, through the anthropomorphic lens. Therefore, we can never discern truth. And nihilism is a byproduct of that, which he didn't say was good. He said it was a problem. He said that the death of God by modernity would produce two things. One, a new religion, and two, nihilism. Yeah, which is so what we see that's, in that's, modern day. Cool. That's why I thought you were going with that. And that's where I, exactly. totally, I totally disagree. And like, it's unfortunate. Really? Yeah, I totally disagree. Completely. 100%. Yeah, gonna, he is so, end on this, and then uh, if we want to get to the, the end of the show, I was just going to say, yeah. I, I am undoubtedly a Plato existentialist, and that would be that. Well, I... I, I think it's, it's unfortunate that it was like it's toward the end of the show that we got here. But I would like to have you back on and talk about that, actually. Yeah, 100%. Because that's yeah. a really, that's a lot of people misunderstand. And my, my, my professor, by the way, I'm not trying to like drop names or anything, but no, no, no. this dude, this dude was an Israeli ex intelligence officer. He got his PhD from Yale. Okay. He hammered me. Day in, day out, if you watch this, hopefully that would be great. But he hammered me day in and day out because I wasn't, I didn't understand Nietzsche correctly and I didn't understand the idea of like faith and religion in the way that he did. And I'm so thankful that I understand it now. But anyway, the point is, is that there's a lot more to discuss on that. But I can't thank both of you more because, um, you know, I really do enjoy these conversations. I know it seems like we're at each other's throats sometimes, but that's the whole point of the show. This week. I mean, that's the whole point of the show, and and honestly, I like it for that purpose, <laughs> I love it. It's amazing. I invented I, it because Triple and I literally just argue day in and day out, and, and thought it'd be hilarious you're a, to record it. <laughs> yeah, you're you're a genius in that part because, like, honestly, that's what we need right now. There's so many people that are afraid to just talk. Like, come on, this is just a conversation. And you, you all make really great points, like always. And I can't appreciate um, you guys having me on more. So I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Triple A, anything to add before last word of the show? Or did you want that to be the last word of the show? Um, well, as far as uh, updates, we, we did... Uh, MJ, stop. Dude, my, my bad. <laughs> my kid is right uh, uh right obviously Perseus, thank you for coming on today because our uh last minute cancellation 
Uh, so just like last week, we had cancellation. Had our amazing guest come in and save the day. That happened again this week. Uh, next week, I think we are going to be without an episode. Uh, and then the week after that, I think Joseph Jackson is going to be on on Wednesday. Did I miss anything? Oh yeah, so yeah, um, Joseph. Yeah, Joseph. That's what I was going to say. We're going to have Joseph Jackson coming on on Wednesday. We're going to be talking about the um, um, trans. Tr yeah, tr uh, transitioning uh, for minors. So yeah, that's that's going to be the topic. And um, also too, we, we're going to bring in. We, we're going to have the. Uh, the some of the the hosts from um, what's it called uh, uh, the the King's Lair. We're gonna we're gonna yeah we're gonna just we're gonna discuss cultural appropriation. They uh, they talk they said some stuff about cultural appropriation that I think is just total nonsense. And we're gonna bring them on the show and I'm gonna tell them why they're wrong about cultural appropriation and they're gonna tell me why uh, they're right. So, so it's gonna be a fun time. Morpheus, thank you so much for coming on. Uh, appreciate you filling out last minute cancellation for us. Yeah, bro. Thanks, man. If you have Thanks. anything you want to promote or plug, and you, you got the last minute, and then we'll we'll be out of here. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I think um, on Twitter I'm like Morpheus01 if you search. But um, other than that, nothing else to promote. Um, have a good evening. So. All right. Well, we'll see you guys in two weeks, not next week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe.